Mitt Romney is a big mystery to us when it comes to foreign policy, in part because Republicans are at war amongst themselves. They're not just fighting with Barack Obama and Democrats this year over what kind of foreign policy they should have. You have, on the one hand, within Romney's own campaign, you have the neocon advisors who represent sort of the, the soul and the spirit of, of Bush and Cheney, pushing him to take one set of policy positions. You have sort of neo-isolationist Tea Party types who want to say, let's focus on America at home and rebuilding our economy. And then you have a sort of a third category of classic Republican uh, realists, if you will, who are much more of the liberal internationalist variety. And uh, so you have all these groups still fighting for Romney's soul. And amazing quotes, even in the New York Times today, from a leading uh, Republican foreign policy advocate, Danielle Pleka, saying basically, uh, well, we don't know which one Romney is. Yeah. And we'd like to say, would the real Mitt Romney stand up? And that's from his own allies. So I think uh, there's no wonder that we're somewhat confused about what his policies are, because he himself has not yet resolved that tension within his own team. Sure. I, that same New York Times piece has unnamed Romney advisors saying they've talked with him so little on national security that they don't know where he stands. Um, he certainly seems to be a candidate who is gone.